butterfly pea, blue pea, or oh, aparajita. This is my aparajita plant. Today I thought of sharing with you some tips of growing aparajita. This is the aparajita seed. After flowering, they produce these seeds. So you can either remove them or else you can again cultivate aparajita from the seeds. These plants can be easily grown by aparajita plant you can grow by seeds or stem cuttings so the easiest way is to grow them from seeds now here my plant in the location of a very warm area this plant needs a lot of sunlight to bloom Aparajita is a medicinal plant too. This plant you must have in your garden. This is a beautiful creeper and also low maintenance. But if you want to see a lot of flowers in this plant, you can put them in the ground. So locate this plant in an area where it gets about 5 to 6 hours of sunlight. Because this plant to flower, you must provide a lot of sunlight. So that is very very important. So once you kept in a place where they get sunlight, you will see beautiful butterfly pea flowers once the flowers dried out you can simply remove them you can take them for your decoration home decoration or either for your puja or any religious activities i have seen in many people trying butterfly pea tea as well but i have not tried it as yet they say it's very beneficial and also according to google it is very very healthy as well once these seeds dried out you can make multiple plants out of them put them in soil the soil should be well draining now my plant is in the ground i have not put it in a pot so if you wish you can put it in a pot and you will have to give it ample space do not over water this plant water when required and also I do organic fertilizer you can use tea fertilizer coffee fertilizer homemade vegetable fertilizer so these are the fertilizers that you can use and also use well draining soil when preparing the soil you can use garden soil sand and some cocoa peat in the mixture and see that the soil is well moistured and also well draining provide water once in the morning because the during the hot weather, you will have to see that the plant is well moistured as well. This butterfly pea plant is in a pot and it's in an ample pot and I did a repotting recently that is why the leaves started turning yellow the lower leaves. So this is facing a lot of sunlight as well. Now look at this dried seed. So this is going to my mesh. So as you can see, you see the stems growing well and here the roots are in this pot so you can do the same you can have it in the pot locate it in a sunny area and provide five to six hours of sunlight time to time repotting is a must put it in a medium to large pot do not put it in a very small pot and uh, support it with a um, moss stick and this plant will grow very healthily flowers flowers and flowers So these are the seeds of the butterfly pea plant. I will put them in the pot as well. So they will make more plants out of them. I can give someone, give someone. These are very beneficial having because they are medicinal plant as well. So friends, it's all about growing butterfly pea healthily. Hope you find this video very useful. Thanks for watching.